I once heard that reading is like standing on the shoulders of giants. A person can accomplish their life's work and then write all of their life lessons in a book that I can read and learn from as I travel on a similar path. In essence, with their book, I don't have to start from scratch. I can get a head start and possibly end up accomplishing more than they did at the end of my journey. Standing on their shoulders, I get a better view. Scale of zero to 14. Seven is what we call neutral pH. That means it's neither acid nor base. Another word for base is alkaline. This is an exciting time to be alive. <laughs> what do paper airplanes, piercing ears, cutting hair, and gardening have in common? Okay, the point of me showing you these videos isn't, hey, look, I made a, a garden box. Really, it's about YouTube, okay? I've done a lot of projects that I was not an expert at by watching videos on how to do this. I, I worked really hard to make this paper airplane and it's called the fighter jet. How'd you learn how to make that? I watched a YouTube video. And it showed you step by step how to do it? Yeah. YouTube. Okay. Any more finding information to expand our accomplishments yeah. is much more versatile than uh, just reading it in a book. A lot of what's in that Each of these activities we accomplished by researching on YouTube to first. With the water. So some of the gardening videos that I have seen suggest putting sticks in the bottom of your bed or something to take up some of the space so you don't spend too much money on good soil. My current project is learning how to become a gardener. Gardening is an experiment. I'm learning from many others online that trial and error are the core of garden development. I could like hammer that angle down, sort of like a stake. But let's just be honest, okay? I just wanted a reason to use my sledgehammer. And if I can grow anything at all, Anyone can. Okay, so far, these are gold potatoes. I had these from the grocery store. They sprouted. I'm putting them eyes up. Gardening is just an experiment. So we're going to test the pH of this soil in. So it's just vinegar and baking soda. This will not give us a number for the pH, but it will tell us is it acid or is it alkaline. What are those, Dad? Those are garlic cloves. They oh. sprouted in our pantry. So you know what we're going to do with that? Yeah. The fun part of this project has been brainstorming how to use what is already around me to create something useful and productive. I'm doing two things. I'm cleaning out my trench so it'll flow more freely and get rid of some of that water that is over there. And I am getting compost at the same time that I'm going to use. So it's not about trash, it's about repurposing. I could share with the world tips and tricks on how to have a better garden. But that's not my focus. I don't know much about gardening. It has some kitchen scraps in it before you put the soil in. And a bed it doesn't. So I guess this is all a learning experience for me. Information is there just waiting for you to look at. What do you want to accomplish? What will you learn? And what will you do to apply what you learn? Look how great you learn. This is wiggly. It is wiggly. Kind of look like that, don't we? 